Hi guys, and a big, 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 big congrats on Love is Blind Season 5. Lots of drama in this one. I was like, oh. and then I even cried a tear or two. <laughs> so I enjoyed it. So did I. So yeah, it, was, it was a good experience. Well, let's begin with you, Mr. Milton. Uh -oh. The guy who's somewhere in between geology and engineering. Finding love is one of the, your reasons to join the series, right? How was the experience for you? Was it all worth it? Oh, yeah, definitely. I would say it's single-handedly probably one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. Um, oh. I met a, an amazing group of people on the guys and the girl uh, on the guys and the girl side, obviously. Um, and I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. Oh, what about you, Mr. Chris, the commercial and retail development guy? How was the experience for you? Um, I loved every second of it. It was one of the most incredible experiences of my life from the highs of falling in love with someone to, you know, getting your heart broken. Even then, you know, it's, it's just a growing experience. And I learned so much about myself and I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know what, Chris, by the way, in, in one of the episodes, you, you mentioned that the baby brother of love is caring for someone. <laughs> Talk to us about that. What does that mean? <laughs> um, I think that that's just something from my heart when I was feeling emotional through it all is, is how I was feeling. And, and once you start caring for somebody, then, then it can grow into love. And that's the baseline of love is, is caring for one another. You know what, Milton, like what Chris said, uh, this show kind of makes you, you know, you fall in love. You also get your heart broken, right? I mean, it forces you to be vulnerable. Lots of honesty and truths in here. How was the experience opening up yourself to such a vulnerable position? Uh, you know, not only to the person across the pod, but to millions of viewers on Netflix coming up. Well, that's definitely something I've never done before. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's what really intrigued me about this experience too. It was, I I, I knew kind of going into this experience like, hey, being truly that vulnerable, that open, it does frighten me. Right. Um, but I had not just so much support from within the pods, but from the guys too in the lounge, like from Chris and other cast members, like they really, you know, just sitting down speaking with them. When I can see Chris out there bawling his eyes out. <laughs> and I'm giving him a hug. I'm like, dude, it's going to be okay. Like having an experience like that, like naturally you just feel that love and compassion and it, it makes you be open. Wow. Now, Chris, in the beginning, beginning of the show, Nick and Vanessa Lachey said that dating has become superficial. Do you agree with that? Um, I don't know. I can't put a blanket over all dating experiences. Um, if you found somebody who you love and care about and y'all reciprocate that love, then I'm overwhelmed with joy for y'all. But you believe that love is blind though, right? I did fall in love through, through a wall, so it is possible. What about you, Milton? Without revealing too much, do you still believe that love is blind? Yeah, I, I, I still believe love is blind. Um, yeah. Oh, now Melbourne <laughs> Blind starts streaming on Netflix on the 22nd. What do your reviewers to get after watching the series besides being uh, happy or sorry for you? <laughs> um, one thing that I want everyone watching the show to know is I enjoyed every moment. Um, like I said, from highs and lows, it was all such a, a wonderful experience. Um, I learned so much about myself. It was like a hundred therapy sessions squeezed into a few weeks. Um, I really grew and and I know most of the cast agrees that you 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 learn a lot about yourself as a person through the whole experience. Yeah. I agree, Milton. Yes, a hundred percent. And will you bring everything that you've learned from the show back to your real life experience? I think there's there's a lot of things that I've learned, not only about myself, but about just like the world and perception and people that I'm implementing every day in, in my current role. You know what? And I really, real quick, because we're almost running out of time. How does it feel being in that pod, by the way, <laughs> Chris? <laughs> um, day one, being in the pod, it's it's a little scary. It's it's you're, You feel like you're in a cage. You got some cameras. Your potential wife is on the other side of the wall. It's a little intimidating. But by the end of the first day, it changes from a cage to a nest where these walls are protecting you so you can be vulnerable for the other person and uh 
when you're being vulnerable with somebody the the cameras and everything just blur out and you're trying to be open with potentially your life partner wow and is there like a limit do you guys spend a little time there how, how long are you there milton um in in the pods i, yeah. I mean i i don't know like it, it it feels like forever i mean like chris said those pods like for me it was my fortress of solitude when i like when I'm out in the lounge, I'm with the guys. I'm the I'm the guy. But when I go into the pods, that's where I'm like, you know, I rip my shirt open and you can see my ass. Like that's <laughs> where I learn to be vulnerable and I'm showing my true self. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for showing your true self to us, you guys. And a big congrats on Love is Blind again and good luck on everything. Okay. Thank you so, thank much. You so much. Nice talking with you. Thank Bye -bye. you, guys.